In this chapter, we begin by defining ways that economic growth can be measured and the reasons that economic growth is desirable. In part two, we will examine the factors that have led to such varied growth by using a production possibilities curve to look at the demand, supply, and efficiency factors. This includes variables that have led to productivity growth. In part three, we'll discuss the opposing views of whether or not economic growth is sustainable. Economists define and measure economic growth two different ways. The first is in an increase in real GDP over some time period, and the second is an increase in real GDP per capita over some time period. It typically is measured as a percentage rate of growth either on a quarterly or yearly basis. During periods of recession, the growth rate will be negative instead of positive. Whether the first or second measure of determining growth is used depends on the circumstances. Looking at GDP per capita allows one to compare countries of different sizes. For country-to-country -country comparisons, real GDP is more useful. Generally speaking, growth in GDP is considered an economic goal. The expansion of total output relative to population results in higher standards of living. It lessens the burden of scarcity. While both real GDP and real GDP per capita have increased over the past 60 years, this must be qualified in several ways. Because the numbers do not fully account for improvements in products and services, they tend to understate the growth of economic well-being. They also do not take into account that growth has occurred at the same time as there has been an increase in the amount of leisure time, so economic well-being is even further understated. The numbers fail to account for any environmental or quality of life impacts as well. This table presents the growth in real GDP and real GDP per capita in the United States since 1950. Due to the population increase, real GDP per capita has increased at a slower pace than real GDP. Since the population has doubled, the rate of increase in real GDP per capita has been about half that of real GDP. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, living standards were basically stagnant for long periods of time. Since then, however, modern economic growth has been characterized by sustained and ongoing increases in the standard of living. This growth has dramatically affected cultural, social, and political arrangements. Countries experiencing modern economic growth have tended to move toward democratic forms of government. People's lifespans have doubled, and ordinary people have been able to experience leisure time and the arts due to increased wealth and living standards. Modern economic growth has been slow to spread from its British birthplace. While much of the Western world began to experience growth in the early 1800s, most of Asia did not experience it until the early 1900s. It has only been in the last few decades that nations in Africa have begun to see modern economic growth. These discrepancies in the growth rates have led to a great difference between the wealth of nations who have experienced modern economic growth and those that have not. While it is possible for these poorer nations to catch up, they typically must rely upon the help of the wealthier nations. The follower countries must copy the technological advances pioneered in the leader nations. This table shows the real GDP per capita in 1960 and 2007, plus the average annual growth rate of real GDP per capita from 1960 to 2007 for selected nations. Note the vast differences in growth rates. The nations from Asia have experienced much higher growth rates since they are in a catch-up mode, while those countries that have been experiencing modern economic growth for a longer time frame have lower rates. This graph illustrates the large differences in the standards of living across those nations. Before modern economic growth, the standards of living were much more equal. But with nations experiencing modern economic growth at different times, the standards of living vary greatly.